Hi, thanks for visiting ExtremeGuard.com. Today I have two devices by Barnes & Noble. I have the Nook HD here on the left, and then I have the Nook HD Plus on the right. Um, to give you an overview of this video, what I want to do is, is compare these two devices together, talk about what you're going to get with the devices, the price point. This is going to be a comparison video. And then I'm going to uh, do two separate videos, one video for the Nook HD, as well as a separate video for the HD Plus, and that will highlight the screen protector and the full body protector that we've put on these two devices. Now just to kick things off, let's talk about pricing. Um, the Nook HD, you're going to get the 8 gig version for $199, or you can get the 16 gig version for $229. The Nook HD Plus, you're going to get the 16 gig version for $269, so only, only what, $40, $40 more to get the larger screen in the 16 gig version and then you've got the 32 gig version for $299. So that's a very competitive price point, especially when you look at the resolution of these two displays. Um, the Nook HD Plus has a 9 inch display, it's 1920 by 1280 resolution with 256 pixels per inch. 256 competes very well with the iPad. The iPad has 264 pixels per inch. So you, you get a very good display on this larger tablet at, at a cheaper price point. But I'm going to talk a little bit about why that, that's a little bit cheaper um, as we move on. The 7 inch Nook HD has a 1440 by 900 resolution, uh, which is still very good for a tablet of this size, the 7 inch. It's competitive also at its price points. Now both of these tablets, they have a gig of RAM, they have a micro USB slot for expandable storage. I want to show you that here. You've got the little slot there and then you've got these nice protective covers. The covers are very hard to get off so once you get your storage in there it's going to be safe and it's, um, it's a very streamlined look on the device itself. Now. Um, both of these devices do not come with a native music service or a native music player. Um, that has frustrated some customers. Um, do be advised before you buy these devices, they don't come with a music player. These devices are very much geared toward reading, um, online reading, reading magazines, looking at content on the web. Um, these, are, these are not necessarily geared towards music, gaming, or other apps. These are very much geared towards Barnes & Noble um, um, content. So um, they, they both run on a modified version of Android Ice Cream Sandwich. It's not open source. It's, uh, it's a special Barnes & Noble version of that Ice Cream Sandwich platform. Um, neither one has a camera. Um, overall, these are not a bad choice as long as you're informed of what you're getting. Um, you're getting a tablet that doesn't have a music player. You're getting a tablet with a very good resolution on both of the screens. Um, it's going to be very, very good if you're looking at um, magazines, doing a lot of reading. That's what these are geared towards. Now, one thing I wanted to bring up is a review that someone wrote in. They were talking about the storage space of these Nook tablets. Now, what they said is that if you get the 16 gig version, um, what actually displays on the tablet is 12 gigs allocated to Barnes & Noble content, 1 gig um, allocated for personal content. So be aware that that's how it's going to come. It's going to be um, mostly allocated towards just Barnes & Noble content. You're not going to have a lot of room to, to put on your own photos or, or anything of that sort. You can have it reconfigured at a, at a Barnes & Noble and they can set it up to do 5 gigs of Barnes & Noble content and 8 gigs for personal storage. Um, now that's only adding up on both of those numbers to 13 gigs. I'm, I'm not sure where, the, where those 3 gigs are disappearing, but, but that was the breakdown um, according to this review. So be aware that, that most of the uh, storage space on both of these tablets is going to be geared towards Barnes & Noble content. Um, one of the uh, Nook Color owners, when, when they saw that these, these new Nook HD and Nook HD Plus were coming out, they wrote in that it was aggravating, that it, it appears that some simple things that were frustrating about the previous Nooks are still going to exist, like not having a, na a native music player. And this, this particular review says, am I the only one that likes to listen to music while I read? So it's very important to know what you're getting when you get these tablets. You, you do get good devices for the price, especially when you're just looking for a, a high resolution display. Now I did want to note here at the end of the video that both of these devices, when I placed them on a flat surface, for some reason seemed like they were warped. You can kind of see it here. It seemed like this top left corner and this bottom right corner were actually um, bowing up kind of like a banana 
and this device is, is just warped, which is kind of strange to me. It made me concerned about the quality of the product. Um, I, I hope that that doesn't translate into poor durability or any other problems. But I also, um, after seeing that with the HD+, Plus, I put the uh, Nook HD on a flat surface and I got a similar result. It was, it was less pronounced because it's a smaller device, but still, I had, I had the corners that were popping up. Um, in this case, it was the top right and the top left. I'm, I'm really not sure if I just got unlucky with these two devices or if there's a quality control problem with these, with these two devices. Now, if you have any other questions about these two devices, go ahead and contact customer service. And thanks for visiting ExtremeGuard.com.